so that doesn't look bad. For All right, here we are looking at that section that Beverly showed us how to start. We have the base amaretto brick color, and now we're going to add the burnt umber accents. And so we're looking at our paint. We're complete with the amaretto. Now we're going to switch to the burnt umber. So I noticed you give it a little spritz with some water. Yep. Now, do you rinse out your roller? No, I'm going to just dirty it up. I might, I might leave the amaretto out and dip back into it. Okay. So what it does, so I've got a, I've got a roller that's been painting amaretto. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to use the burnt umber as the accent color. Okay. So I just dipped it in there a little bit. So it looks it like out. you blend right on your palette, wet yep. on wet. Okay. Now I'm going to go back in and put some stuff on. And this is where a light hand comes in. Okay. I'm not pressing real hard. And, I'm, and I will probably do bricks and then step back and look at them. I might go back and do something to a brick that I already did shadowing on. Mm -hmm. So I noticed that you're rotating your roller around too. Oh, I, yeah. I, so that you get different angles of the, the that, accent on the brick. Otherwise you end up with everything looking the same. So if you get a heavy spot there, I notice you kind of feather it out a bit. Yep. You pick up that paint again and make good use of it. Oh, and I also use the end of the roller if there's a staple or a, a, okay. a screw from a, the assembly part, and I hide that. Okay. And sometimes I just spray the uh, palette too. While so I'm if working. it gets too tacky, you can spritz it with oh, water. Oh yeah, you'll, you'll, your roller will get real gunky after a while. So I use water to thin it out. Very nice, and if we'll just step back, you can start to see already how that's gonna look so nice with those accents.